Hello, I'm Joshua Joshua's Recordings, and right there in front of you is the Ektron Extronics 8000 Series Model 880 Soldering Station that I got off of Amazon for about $212. Um, this um, station is a very decent set, and it comes with a so um, soldering iron, as you would probably expect, a SMD rework iron or hot air thing and a power supply. Power supply is probably one of the least thought to be put in a soldering station but it really is a nice touch. Over here we got the power supply and here we have the soldering iron and re rework station. We're gonna check out the power supply first. If we turn it on we, sh we see two nice blue displays that both read 000 and the one on the top is the voltage and the one on the bottom is the amperage. Now people might wonder how accurate is this? Well let's check. We've got a RMS multimeter here and now I'm just going to turn it up So as you can see, it's not bad. It does go all the way up to 30 volts. Or about 31 volts. 31.1 is the maximum. And it's pretty close to being accurate. So I would definitely say that's a decent power supply. And now I'm just going to plug it into a little fan. And as you can see, very decent. So power supply is good, and it can run a number of different things. So power supply is really nice, neat, and um, so now what what you would probably think of in the soldering station would be a soldering iron and a rework station. So, that's going to be our next little thing to do. It's going to be checking out the rework. Um, so, so, let's turn on the rework station. And as you can see, it comes up with 300 degrees Celsius to begin with. But you can go much higher than that. You can go all the way up to... Four hundred and eighty degrees Celsius or eight hundred and ninety six degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough to light some things on fire. <laughs> so we'll we'll just heat up to three hundred degrees Celsius. And it'll turn on as soon as we pull it out and begin to heat. Want to set the temperature? You will see that it is that we can you can um, you'll see there's a little uh, fan in it that'll blow out the hot air and then when we put it back on the thing there's a magnetic switch in it which starts to cool it down. and it'll cool down to 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit and then turn off. And then go back to dash, dash, dash and allow you to set the temperature. And uh, so that's real neat. Um, now let's try the soldering iron, which is what most people probably want to see. So I'll grab a computer power supply 
just because computer power supplies are you usually have um, double double layer boards and um, use that lead free solder which is melts at a higher temperature so we'll grab one of them so now that we got this computer power supply here let's turn off the rework station and turn on the soldering iron set it to let's say 400 degrees Celsius and as we can see it's heating up Okay, now we're there, and as you will notice, you, um, uh, on the rework and soldering iron, you see the little digit there that keeps flashing on and off. What, it, what that actually means is, um, um, is how it's re um, reheating. It reheats the iron dozens of times a second to, ma to maintain a steady, steady 400 degrees, or whatever you set it for, degrees. And the switch is very handy too. So, now we got this board here which we'll be doing some soldering on. Let's try it. Let me get a good angle on the soldering iron. There we go. Pretty nice melting. For some reason, I'm just so. You see, it just melts that right up. Now I don't want to destroy this supply, but I probably already have. I'm just shorting that out. So, very nice. So as you can see, we can definitely melt solder real well with this. And then we just put it back in its nice little cubby. Right there, which is all made out of metal except for the front plate, which I believe is plastic. So, very neat. Now this, unlike the rework station, does not have a cool down feature, so we'll just turn it off and it starts to cool down. Um, so that's about it. I definitely recommend this product. It is a very decent soldering iron, um, soldering station there. Um, and it, this hopefully will um, make sure people do realize that it comes with blue LEDs and a aluminum faceplate because the previous model came with red LEDs and a black faceplate. Please note though that it these are LEDs and not vacuum fluorescent displays as the company says they are says they are. Hmm. But they are aluminum knobs which are very very nice. They're very nice to turn. And you have a milliamp and amp switch. And you got a test a test meter, which is kind of stupid if you ask me, because you're gonna if you're gonna buy something like this and spend as much money as you as you would on this, you'll probably have a multimeter too. So the test display is sort of interesting to have on a unit like this. It's a nice touch, but who's gonna use it? <laughs> 
as you probably know. Um, so, but it, um, the test display can go up to 50 volts DC. I haven't checked it yet because, well, I use my multimeter. So, um, which is which is another thing. The, the test display only measures DC. So you wonder why they even put it on there because most people, like I said, will probably have a multimeter which can measure AC and DC. So there's not really that much, that much purpose. There's one more thing in this comes with this little set here, and that no may not come anymore. Well, it probably will because I say the supply is limited. I don't really believe them, but it's this lamp here. It's not really a lamp. It's a magnifying glass, as you can see. So we can put something like a, a circuit board under there. Come on, there we go, and. You can magnify the traces, but it doesn't. Eh, it's kind of cheap. It does have a um, fluorescent ring that you can light up, which I guess is pretty cool. But it's very dim, and well, it's decent. But the soldering station. It's pretty much what's worth the money you're paying for it. And I believe that it is. Now, when you're done using it, you have a little switch on the back, which is flip, and then the unit's off. And thank you for watching. This has been Josh's Recordings. Yeah.